Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and I kind of want to talk about something. Something that's, um, something that's bugging me a little bit. Something I, it probably shouldn't bug me, but it is. Uh, lately I have been doing these videos where I kind of express myself, um, a little bit more politically than I normally would. And I noticed there has been, those videos have been getting a little bit more views compared to my other stuff. But I have seen a drop in followers, which, again, it's not a lot. I don't have, I'm not a big channel. I'm not a huge channel. And, you know, losing a couple followers with, from somebody that's got super ang bad anxiety problems. Let's see, I'm stuttering doing this. Um, when you look at it like a numbers game, you just kind of, which you shouldn't, it kind of bugs me a little bit. The reason why it bugs me is I don't know if... I'm offending somebody because that's not what I want to do. I don't want to offend you. I don't. I don't want to make you feel uneasy. I wanted to try something a little bit different, express my feelings on some things, and this is my channel. This is my channel, but it's also your channel. And, you know, I'm at this point in my life where I want to be able to not be fake to you guys. I want to be for real and I'm wanting to get back into making video content on a normal basis and streaming more often. But I don't know how I want to approach it. Um, uh, part of me did. Part of me was thinking, well, maybe I can talk a little bit about my personal beliefs. Maybe it will offend somebody. I don't want to make something offensive just on the basis of being offensive. Uh, that's not who I am. It's never has been who I am. Um, you know, I just don't want to be fake around you guys. I want to be, you know, legitimately a real person that has feelings, that has ideas. And what i seen, which bugs me, is content creators that go that route. They usually get called things like Nazis or white supremacists or, you know, whatever. And, you know, I know the way I look. I look like a stereotype. <laughs> I'm a fat, white neck beard. I look like a stereotype. I'm not ashamed of it, but that's, that's it's true. It's true. You look at me and you're like, well, that guy's the stereotypical incel. Take a look at him. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it's been bugging me a little bit to the point where I want to make some changes based on your feedback. I know there's games out that I want to stream. You know, I've been playing Pokemon. Halo comes out next week. And I've been wanting to get back into streaming. But I also want to get back into making content that you guys will enjoy. And I know it's ultimately my choice. But I want to know what you guys think, I, honestly. And like I said, there's I, I don't get a lot of views. I'm, I'm not a big channel. But seeing, you know, seeing, you know, having somebody that's got a million subscribers and they lose two or three people, that's not a big deal. For somebody my size, losing a couple people is, you know, it's nerve-wracking and nobody tells you that whenever you're making youtube content i've been doing this off and on for six years i'm not very successful at all when it comes to it but i like to think that i do try i do try to make myself presentable even though i'm stuttering all over the place and i i jump off topic quite a bit and it, it can be annoying it can be annoying because i you know i start talking about one thing and go off into another direction, even when it has stuff to do with things like Pokemon, video games, movies. And I wanted to try to do something a little bit different and kind of make a rambling type series where I talk about things that bug me. Um, but I also know that the audience for that is very small on most internet platforms. Like, platforms uh twitter youtube facebook uh there's a lot mainly because it's left-centered media and it kind of you, you stick out like a sore thumb when 
you have an idea that's not following those norms. And you know what I mean by this. Um, if you're a blue check mark there on uh, Twitter, uh, if you are a conservative on Twitter, you're in deep shit. And I don't use Twitter often. The most I use Twitter is to retweet my videos and share them. Uh, and maybe I should use Twitter a whole lot more than I do. Um, I, I honestly, I, here's the thing, like, I've been doing this for, you know, on and off six years, I think. I don't still know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I don't, I really don't. I don't know how to get the most viewership out of my videos and, you know, rather be tags or anything else. And I've been trying to change that. I, you know, if you looked at my process whenever... I upload a video, you'll see all these tags, what I would think would fit in with my my actual content, uh, especially, you know, recently with Pokemon and everything like that. And you see some of my videos, usually they get anywhere between 10 to 40 views at most. Now, there is a content new video that has almost a thousand views, which is crazy, and it's probably one of the, my most viewed videos uh, just due to... Um, the conversation we was having and you know it, it, I I wasn't completely proud of that video I wasn't because it was mainly me bitching about another YouTuber and I kind of did this again earlier this week with another YouTuber I did not agree with um, and it's only got like 10 11 views which that's okay that's okay um, I know getting notice is a shot in the dark you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than to get notice on any platform. You gotta, you gotta realize there's millions of people on doing the same thing that I'm doing, talking about the same things that I'm talking about, trying to stick out. I'm not anything special. I know this. I know I'm not anything special, and I think I, I think in my opinion that. I know where I want to go. I know what I want to do. I want to be me, and I want to be honest with you guys. And I think me being open and honest with you guys would be more beneficial. But I also, like I said, I want to talk about things that I don't get to talk to people about. Like, I don't. I don't. A lot of people I know, they're more on the liberal side. And I am too. I am more liberal than I am conservative. But I've been swinging more right than I have left. Just due to the things that's been annoying me a lot lately with the left. And this isn't me trying to trash you for being on the left. Because I'm there too. I'm like right in the middle. I guess you could say I'm a fence sitter. Which that's probably bad within itself. But... I want to be honest with you guys. I really do. Um, there's things that bug me that it's not fair. Like recently we had that Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman show uh, where they're making fun of Santa Claus or something because he's white and he's a male and they have stereotypical stereotypes for the reindeer, which, you know, if you watch the trailer or any of the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's really hypocritical because Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman can't handle the feedback that it's getting and they're basically calling everybody but dislike this show white supremacists and like I said in other videos a lot of these influencers like to pass those terms around like they're candy which is shouldn't be used lightly especially if you're a white male and a white female trying to make a case for being white that's what bugs me that stuff bugs me a lot Big time. I, I don't even know why. Like, you know, I talked about the Kyle Rittenhouse thing and uh, diversity and censorship. And though, like I said, my videos aren't that great. I, you know, I'm lucky to get a idea down on paper before it spreads out to 10 different ideas that are not even connected. I, I'm, I'm just that way. I'm so scatterbrained. And <laughs> I don't know if I should just stick to gaming or stick to being me and that's where i'm standing and i'm trying to get myself back into streaming i really want to 
I said, hey, once Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl comes out, I'll be streaming those. I haven't yet. I haven't. I've, I've got a backlog like a son of a bitch. Um, but I need to play through. Like you know, like I said, I need to play that. I need No More Heroes. You know, Halo coming out. Uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Deathloop. Diablo 2. All these games that I just... I want to have time to play, and I want to stream them. But for some reason, my anxiety is like, "Fuck you! You're not doing it. You you suck. You, you're you're not worth worth a damn." And that's just in my mind, playing over and over and over. Whenever I get to hit that live button, go live, or just hitting the record button is enough for me to just shake. And like right now, like me talking to you. Uh, I'm shaking like a leaf right now, like I really am, because this is how I am. Like I, I think I'm like, and I, I got a comment one time where the person said this was on Reddit that maybe you shouldn't do this because, um, a it's stressful and you might put in more than you're going to get out of it, which that's okay. You know, I, I, I'm i always on, stressed out anyway. So it doesn't really matter if I do this or not. And I don't really care what type of feedback I'm getting. But I do, like I said, like anybody, it's nice to see numbers going up. And I think that's my problem is I look at this numbers game and I'm just thinking, man, I just spent 30, 40 minutes making this video, expressing myself, and only three people watched it. But then again, I'm thinking, I just made this video for 30, 30 40 minutes, put it together, where I put in a couple hours into it, make it a video. Well, those three people, just out of the millions of people that are what, you know, on this platform, they just happen to stumble across my video. And maybe it had, Maybe what I did, maybe their day got better, and hopefully it didn't make it worse. Um, hopefully my content doesn't make you feel like a <laughs> piece of shit. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. You know, my goal is just like anybody else. I started doing YouTube and Twitch because of my favorite YouTuber, Boogie2988, um, which we share a lot of things in common um, that I've learned through the years, which I don't know. If that's a good thing or a bad thing, probably have to ask him. <laughs> One of my biggest dreams is doing a collaboration with him, but that's never going to happen. He'll never see this video, and I've tried a lot, and it's almost like probably seems stalkerish at sometimes. And I had to calm myself down. I was like, man, I hope he sees me, see me, see me, senpai. Is it senpai? 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 I don't know. Notice me, senpai. Yes, that's there we go. But guys, I just want to know what you think. I definitely appreciate you stopping by. Uh, just be honest with me. I'll be honest with you. That's all I want to do. I, you be honest with me. I'll be honest with you. If I suck dick at making this video content, <laughs> just tell me. He says, you really suck the big one at making YouTube content, you cunt. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. Maybe. Maybe. Damn it!